not long after the New York wedding of Sicilian Mafia boss Giuseppe Bono. Several of the mobster guests were brutally murdered. Let's check it out. I'm James Gladwish and welcome to OC Shorts, bringing you detailed historical snapshots of the American Mafia and other organised crime. Feel free to subscribe if you like that sort of thing. Today we're going to take a quick look at the murdered mobsters who attended Giuseppe Buono's wedding. Giuseppe Pippo Bono was allegedly the head of the Palermo-based Bolognetta family. He was a major money launderer and highly skilled in narcotics trafficking. He was allegedly sent to New York to represent the Sicilian Mafia's transatlantic drug interests. Giuseppe Bono was one of the main architects behind the infamous Pizza Connection drug ring. An FBI file would say of Giuseppe Bono, one of the most knowledgeable men operating abroad in international drug trafficking. Giuseppe Bono lived in a $250,000 house in the southern Westchester community of Pelham. On the 16th of November 1980, Giuseppe Bono married Miss Antonina Albino at St. Patrick's Cathedral on 5th Avenue. He then hosted a $64,000 reception at the Grand Pierre Hotel with over 300 guests. Many of the attendees were mobsters from Sicily, America and Canada. In the space of just a few years after the wedding, several of the mobster guests would be murdered. The FBI were able to subpoena the wedding photographs. Let's review a selection of these photos and the mafiosi who attended. First up, we see a picture of the groom, Giuseppe Pippo Bono, second from the right. His bride, Antonina Albino, is stood second from the left. The man on the far left of the photograph wearing sunglasses is Cesare Bonventre. He was a Sicilian mobster who was inducted into the Bonanno crime family. He had previously served as a bodyguard for the greatly feared Carmine Galante. Galante was famously murdered in 1979 and many believe that Bonventre was part of the betrayal that led to Galante's death. Cesare Bonventre was made a Bonanno family captain not long after Galante's murder. In April 1984, just under three and a half years after this wedding photo, Cesare Bonventre was shot to death by Louis Haha Atanasio. His body was then cut up into multiple pieces and stuffed into several glue drums. The hit was ultimately ordered by Bonanno crime family boss Philip Rusty Rustelli, allegedly because Cesare Bonventre had disrespected Rusty by walking out of a meeting that they were having. Rustelli had been quizzing Bonventre about the fact that Bonventre had allegedly extorted $600,000 from a drug dealer that was close with Rustelli. Bonventre became insulted by the inquiry and got up and walked away. This is according to former Bonanno family boss turned informant Joe Messino. However, some speculate that Joe Messino pushed Rustelli to have Bonventre murdered because he saw that he was a growing power in the family. I cover Cesare Bonventre's murder in greater detail in a previous video. The link to this is in the comments below. Cesare Bonventre can also be seen in another photo from the wedding sat here in the front row on the left-hand side. Stood behind him is another fellow Sicilian mobster who is also a Bonanno crime family member, Baldazzeri Baldo Amato. Amato was also a former bodyguard of Carmine Galante. Since 2006, Baldo Amato has been serving life in prison for two murders. On the front row, second from the right, is Bonanno crime family mobster Salvatore Mirabile. And next to him, on the far right, is another Bonanno family mobster, Salvatore Cacciamise. In this next photo, labelled by the FBI, we have the following. Front row from left to right, Joseph Bonanti, 
a Bonanno family soldier. He was inducted into the crime family in October 1977. He passed away in 2005. Next to him is Dominic Trinquera, who at the time of this photo was a Bonanno family captain. Trinquera was part of the hit team that took out Carmine Galante and two others. We will come back to him shortly. Next to Trinquera is Bonanno family mobster JB Indelicato. Joseph Indelicato was at this time a soldier in the crew of his brother, Alphonse Sonny Red Indelicato. Next to him is Frank Lino. Lino was a Bonanno family mobster who would eventually become a captain before he turned government informant. And on the far right of the front row is Anthony Bruno Indelicato. Bruno was the son of Sonny Red and was also part of the hit team that murdered Carmine Galante and two other mobsters in 1979. Bruno Indelicato has fairly recently been released from prison after completing yet another lengthy stretch inside. On the back row, second from the left, is a very young Vincent Basciano. He was at this time an associate of Dominic Trinquera and would later be inducted into the Bonanno crime family where he would rise through the ranks becoming a captain and acting boss. Vincent Vinigorgius Basciano is currently serving life in prison. The next mobster on the back row is Philip Phil Lucky Giacone. Phil Lucky was a Bonanno crime family captain. In 1981, less than a year after this wedding photo, Dominic Trinquera and Philip Giacone, along with Sonny Red Indelicato, were brutally shot to death in an ambush in the infamous Three Captains murder. The three captains were killed due to an internal power struggle in the Bonanno crime family. Some sources state that Sonny Red and Delicato did not attend Giuseppe Bono's wedding due to the fact that he was on lifetime parole. I cover the murders of Trinquera, Giacone and Sonny Red in greater detail in a previous video. The link to this is in the comments below. In the next photo, we have two very interesting mobsters. On the back row, second from the left, is Vito Rizzuto, a mobster connected with the Bonanno crime family who would go on to become the powerful boss of the Rizzuto family in Montreal. Vito Rizzuto was allegedly one of the gunmen in the famous Three Captains murder in 1981. Sat directly below Vito Rizzuto is Bonanno crime family mobster Gelando George from Canada Shasha. George from Canada was also part of the Three Captains murder and allegedly fired the fatal shots into Sunny Red in Delicato. He would eventually become a captain in the Bonanno crime family, but allegedly displeased family boss Joe Messino, and in 1999, Jolando Shasha was picked up for a meeting in a car driven by John, Johnny Joe Spirito, with Patrick De Filippo also in the vehicle. De Filippo then shot Shasha to death, and his body was dumped in a street in the Bronx. In another version of this wedding photo, we see another mobster who was rarely spoken about. On the far left, sat at another table, is Sicilian mobster and Bonanno crime family soldier, Santo Giordano. Santo Giordano is believed to have been the getaway driver in the hit on Carmine Galante in 1979. He was also present at the Three Captains murder in 1981. However, unfortunately for Giordano, he was hit by a bullet by accident in the ambush and paralysed from the waist down. He would eventually die in a plane crash in 1983. There are many other photos of Giuseppe Bono's wedding, but I hope you found these ones interesting. Thanks for watching.